What is up everybody? Easy Easy Street Gaming. The war had finally started. Legion of Many Damage Inc. Legion of Damage. How catchy. 50-50 war. The lineup was pretty intense. Had tons of good players on our side. Went to GB Elite. Got a couple guys from GB. So it's Legion of Many Damage Inc. GB Elite. Had two of them so we can put the name in there. Come on. Uh, first attack. Now listen, this is what's going to happen. Because I, I went a little crazy and, and recorded pretty much every single attack. I have just went through and edited out um, all but 30 minutes of attacks. And we all know that 30 minutes, um, no one's attention is actually 30 minutes. So we're going to have to fast forward through a lot of, lot of uh, the back end of these attacks. We'll show the first couple uh, in an enti entirety. I want to spit it out. I'm struggling already. You know, in the first five minutes, if I stumble over my words, it's going to be a rough. I'm, I'm not going to do any retakes either, so you're going to hear how idiotic this can get. So we're going to probably, uh, probably after the second or third attack, fourth attack, I'm going to do, do some fast forwarding through the back end of the attacks because it's these are slaughter attacks. Um, what I found out is uh, after watching the 50-50. I found out that Legion is going to crush almost anybody. I can't believe how fast we jumped out 100 stars to 10 or 20. Um, I, it rem <laughs> it's just a refreshing thing to see because we uh, our clan was like that, but we've been together now three years. So after three years, you kind of lose some of that edge, but they have not. They've got 375 wins, and they still play like they are a, a first week clan. So awesome job can't say enough about these guys They even let me play in another war after I sucked and um, I almost recorded my attacks just so you could laugh at something damn I, you know sometimes uh, I wonder why I even play this game <laughs> So first attack was Jay Jay's the number one um, I think Jay's pretty competent in attacking one and two from any clan in the world um, He's just a monster uh, and you'll see in the, in in this video, if you aren't familiar with the clan, um, they have an enormous amount of talent on this clan, and uh, I, I think the other clan was intimidated to say the least. And then after they st started watching some of our attacks, you know, you know when they give up, and when they don't. When your number fifteen jumps down to number fifty, um, then you've pretty much given up. So that kind of sucks. We wanted uh, we wanted. Uh, a high-end intense war uh, and I do remember to be careful what we asked for last time we asked for that our clan got three stars um, from 1 to 50 so we're not gonna ask for that quite yet but something a little more competitive maybe next time already planning another war another war um, okay so this is uh, DD double down notice number 23 and there's not a big difference between their, uh, you know, our number one base and number 23 base. There's not a huge, huge difference. There's maybe one or two defenses that are different. There's certainly no difference in the troops. He's got max troops. Um, so you can see there's so much talent that um, they have an elite player all the way down to 23. Now, now, yes, there are a couple of questionable bases on our team. Um, ones that I might not be too happy to face if I was on the other team. And um, so we're not going to get into that this video anyway because we're just celebrating a win. Um, but just just a brief touch touch on that um, because most of the time when I see clans that have severely engineered bases on it, it's a point that I like to bring out um, about engineering and about fair play. Um, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, you've just started playing, obviously. Uh, so engineering is when you bring your offense way up higher than your defense and in the in the home base or the home village talked all the way through DD's attack sorry buddy awesome attack I, I can um, if I only record three stars I get two of his attacks every war so far he's never missed yet so I mean damn dude <laughs> uh, Mr. Cool Man's up next and this is actually not a slap attack um, I know it might sound crazy, but there's actually things that you can do other than slap. <laughs> Although, after watching this war, I don't know what kind of alarm goes off at 6 o'clock at night. <laughs> after watching this war, I've seen the, the power of the slap. 
and it's impressive done by well-trained players these guys um, are first of all they all do it very similarly because that's how you do it uh, you know um, there, there are different ways you can do these attacks but there's a reason why you're gonna see a bunch of attacks done very very similarly um, I record them all one right after another for a reason um, those are gonna be the ones I'll probably fast forward you know times two in them just because this so you can watch how thoroughly uh, the, the bowlers and witches just plow right through the base so where was I oh yeah 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 talking about engineered clans without bitching about them it's hard for, hard for me to do but I'm gonna do it um, yeah so if you don't know the engineered clans are when you bring your offense up way higher than your defense um, now fortunately uh, the new base the builder hall the builder base that is not going to happen I've been working on this website I've told everyone that knows me about it and one of the things on the website is I have the base weight war weight raw weight whatever you want to call it and the raw weight for the troops is crazy uh, it's, it's some of these troops 25 30,000 for, for raw weight on the troops that's going to fix the problem with these lopsided um, bases now what, what we're going to still find though on our home village is that we are going to have players that are going to push their offense up much further than the defense even if they're a fa fair play clan like like this clan is definitely a fair play clan there is not one there's no modding attacks um they they don't try to cheat at all all they do is take advantage of the rules that is provided and it's just something that if they didn't do it they couldn't win at the level that they won at they win at now does anyone like to deal with a clan that's that has taken advantage of the rules no no one does no one wants to lose but when you assemble a group of players like the, like this clan has they attract elite players um, most of the elite players have a max base and then they have another base that may have max troops but they but the defense is not quite as high the, and there's a reason for that it's because that's what you need on these clans in order to compete with some of these high level clans now yes uh, I know there's a lot of league play and on the league play everything's maxed on both sides uh, and that's an interesting nice even play playing field as well uh, unfortunately out in the multi universe we don't get that we get mostly either strict fa fair play clans where you'll have five town hall 11s up top 15 town hall 10s and then 10 town hall 9s or whatever or you'll have the, the clans that have heavily engineered parts of the of the clan that will their bottom 10 may be defenseless so to, as a happy medium we have a lot of clans that we used to call them 0.5 clans and the 0.5 clans were the clans that just built their troops up before they started putting their defenses on so if I'm a new Town Hall 9 I won't put anything out in, in Town Hall 9 at the beginning of the upgrade I'll upgrade all my troops once the troops are maxed then I'll start bringing out all of the defenses and that just allows me a several month cushion to play in Town Hall 9 without getting matched up with the, the elite Town Hall 9s that just keeps the elite off you for a little while and that's what these guys kind of have done except for they are up at the Town Hall 11 area so they haven't quite happened to face the elite Town Hall 11s uh, you, you know we may not see and I talk cash talk for your whole attack sorry brother awesome attack one of the first attacks in the war started off the war right uh, I believe it's the first three or four attacks three star and uh, top five base now all these attacks too these are all on town hall 11s and granted um, I'll get back to what I was saying in a second granted that what this other clan that we fought what they did to tamper with their base weight because you notice they have a lot of um, they've tampered with that base weight as well they left off their walls and they did it on almost every single base in the clan so you'll see a lot of these bases and it may look like oh look if they had an easy clan uh, no wonder why they won but if you look closely all the defenses are maxed or close to it at least all the elite defenses are maxed you may we may run across a, a town hall 11 and they may have the infernal towers are maxed the eagles maxed the expos are maxed and then they'll leave the cannons in, in the in the archer towers i don't know why you would do that but that's what i see i mean in this space here we have archers archers and cannons that aren't maxed but the but the expos and the um in the eagle was so i guess everyone's got their own idea on how to play around with the base weight okay so just getting back to on screen for a second that was blackjack's attack that was another slap three star 
had probably 13 or 14 troops left over, about a half a dozen uh, bowlers, several witches left over. Uh, this right here is Buddha, and another, uh, and again, I'm, t I'm telling you, we have a lot of slaps in this video. Uh, I'm gonna start to go in times two. Um, I think I'm gonna learn this from Ron, and then I'm gonna go in times two after this. And uh, just because we're gonna have several slaps in a row that, that, that happen, and I just want you to watch the progress, and this is something that you should do anyway. Um, I, I, I've had a thing where I can't say it now because it wouldn't be true. But at one point, we had been playing for about two years, and I had watched every single attack that my clan had ever done. And the reason why I would do that is it makes it a lot easier for me to either A, give advice, or B, learn myself. And Because, you know, I am not the best player in my clan as far as the attacker. Um, I have people around me that think better than I do about it, that are that just, that just better all the way around. Uh, so, and I try to learn from them. And, uh... One of the ways you can do that, and it may sound strange, is to watch it in times two or times four, several times. And what this does is this shows you the patterns that they're all going in, and it's because you can get caught up in these attacks, and you, your eyes will be over in a certain part of the screen, and you're not getting the big picture. But when you're watching it at times two or times four, you kind of see the big picture, and you see what all the troops are doing, and they and you'll see some certain patterns. And that's what I'm about to show you right here. You're gonna see some patterns with these attacks. All right, so instead of me running my mouth for this attack, let's just check this out. You see them um, now on these town hall 11s. You're going to notice they have very, very similar aspects to their attack. First thing is to jump over the outside wall. Then you'll see them get all the bowlers. They funnel the bowlers into the core. Second jump should go right over the core, or they'll put a rage spell over the core. And now this is when I don't pay attention. Okay, there we go. <laughs> don't pay attention while you're recording and don't catch the top side. And now at this point here. This is when I would normally have a healer on the golem. Instead, the healer is actually on the queen like it's supposed to be. See, that never happens to me. Looks like they have the Inferno Tower is one of the last things up, which you don't see that happen very often in a successful attack, but these are maxed out heroes, and um, once you get to max level, these heroes can take a beating, and they just they, there's no challenge right there in taking out that Inferno Tower. They go in, take out that last building, Okay, next one, another slap. Now they're starting off in the corners. They got two or three witches and, and two or three bowlers coming in. Looks like they're ready for that. They had some giant bombs on the corners. There's the first jump over the outside wall. Second jump into the core. Third jump will be on the back side of the core. And instead of the third jump, he uses a, a, a free spell. And those bowlers are just chucking bowlers over that out the back side of the core. And you know, that's a disadvantage when you're tampering with your base weight and you decide to leave the walls off. You know, walls are tedious anyway. I, I, get, I get it, believe me. Um, if I was to tamper with my base weight, the walls would be a great thing not to build. Because they blow. But, okay, here's uh, Yak Attack, one of the guys from Damage. Now, something else. Uh, starts off with Earthquake. It is hard to um, try to outdo uh, Legion as many and try to get up on the top end of, their, of these wars and... To, to be the star of the show there's just too many all-stars in that damn clan uh, so you'll see that one of the first threes from damage is number 21 uh, and it's yak he likes to use the he kind of an older attack maybe maybe outside the middle a little bit but likes to use the valkyries and clears up the, the middle of it easily and believe it or not this is a tough this was actually a tough base this base right here was attacked by an excellent excellent player and could only get 54%. But um, that's not the first time I've got 54% on a crappy base. <laughs> so, Yak with a 3 star. Next attack is... This is Karma, also from GB Elite. And this is going to be the uh, another version of the slap. And he's going to come in with first jump. On the outside wall, second jump into the core. Going to use the uh, the free spell on that backside inferno tower. Pretty common, uh, just to see that. Uh, now, if you bring three jump spells, you really can't bring that the free spell. So that's what you have to kind of decide on. Are, are you going to freeze that backside inferno, or are you going to jump your troops into it? It's a risk because. If the troops decide to meander on the sides and take out all that crap on the sides instead of going directly for the Inferno, even though there's a jump spell right on the Inferno Tower, we all know what happens. 
sometimes that jump spell it won't take to it right away and they'll take everything out instead okay so we're at the 15 minute mark in the video this is usually when I try to cut them off but we have five attacks left so we're gonna keep them going in times two or times three this one right here is by mr. Miyagi son and he's actually doing something other than a slap too this is another uh, uh, la loon or go la loon sorry about that and just give me one second here I'm going to enlarge the screen okay now I can see everything okay now he has the this is kind of a spammy type of attack he, where he puts in four lava hounds probably puts another one in out of the clan castle and then he saves a couple of balloons for the back end and he'll just put one or two balloons after all the defenses are down on key locations on the map that way if the balloons decide to go all of them you know in a big giant group he can get those last couple of defenses in the backside in this case here he didn't have to use them great attack looks pretty cool and fast forward okay next one is Simeo one of the first guys I met in the clan another great guy he likes to start off by usually using a hay spell and, and rushing a couple of balloons in to pull the clan castle troops then he'll use uh, like a naked hero rush and, and bring the king and the queen in to take care of those clan castle troops push the clan push the heroes in as far as he can and then he'll use the four lava hounds on the first two air defenses puts a free spell on it a bunch of rage spells and hay spells and I, now I've watched him do this attack a bunch of times the, the, I mean Simula is good at these attacks he uh, has perfected this attack but this was a pretty shaky attack because look what's left lurking in the core got the queen didn't didn't um, didn't use a poison or he may use a poison but didn't use the skeleton and the rage one of the things I like to try to do is uh, put a skeleton spell right on the queen and then you uh, try to rage the balloons as they're going over her um, if that was me that queen would have literally one-handedly taken out every single balloon as they went by her that's what she does <laughs> all right next one is uh, battle fortress BF the big big player in the chat always up there trying to help out the clan doing tons of uh, friendly challenge attacks and this is one of those just one giant line of balloons came in and wiped out this whole base and I mean I, it, yes it's in times two but it was just as quick in real life now the cleanup takes a little while one of the lava hounds did not pop um, maybe even two of them didn't pop and you know that is a yeah two lava hounds didn't pop that that is a re really dangerous thing um, that's one of the disadvantages for be for you know being damn good at this is these guys are so efficient with their troops that they take out I I've seen um, this happen on more than one occasion where they took out so much of the base with the kill squad that the lava hounds didn't die and then that they sucked up every last second of the attack time because the lava hounds were over there you know trying to chop down uh, trash buildings at 10 DPS okay this is Chica now I watched this this attack live I believe and the Queen goes down here and this whole base is still up the whole base attacking number 34 notice number 34 has gotten funnel towers brings in the brings in another big long line of balloons got, still has two uh, in, two lava hounds out in front save those spells to the backside still has a skeleton spell I'm looking around to see if I can find the Queen somewhere I think the Queen went down and, and again now I think this attack has three lava lava hounds up still but so many balloons I don't think there's a balloon that went down I mean that, that was such a fast attack and so efficient but nothing died and last attack of the video from damage Inc. this is stalker and he's using another slap attack I mean he had to do it everyone else is doing it so stalker had to do it this is actually creepers one of creepers little accounts had, a, had another great war and uh, uses that jump spell to get into the core and now this clan they they like to put I mean they set up like they were gonna fight they did not put up a good fight but all the clan castles had troops in it they, they, they love minions in the clan castle and he looked at this base right here puts in two jump spells on the, on the two inner parts of the base those two jump spells opened up all but one two compartments so two jump spells open up all but two compartments you know that's just not a very good base design if you can put in two jump spells and everything but two compartments is left up open so all right great war managed to get almost everyone in <laughs> I decided not to go with several videos I know it's a long video sorry about that had a great time 
got another got another war in Legion of Many myself with a couple guys still. We had a couple guys kind of struggle behind, and we got in the next war. So um, may have some more action coming from Legion of Many. Anyway, uh, got five pages left on the website. Five, and I'm I'm not gonna drag this out for two months either. I'm gonna try to get get this over with and get this uh, this thing up and live in July. So check out the website as soon as you can. One last thanks to Legion of Many. Thanks for throwing down with us. And speaking of throwing down, throw a like down in the video if you liked it. And if you haven't subbed yet, sub to the channel. Could always use some more subs. I'm not going to go away. I'm going to keep on making them. So you might as well sub. <laughs> uh, appreciate everyone staying till the end with me. And uh, till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.